Good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is April the 26th and we are downstairs with the first glimpse at Shammy's litter. So this is a crew of nine. There are four girls and five boys. And no, they're probably not in the same order that they are on the, the internet when you look at it. So I didn't check who's laying where or anything else. So this morning, all we're gonna do is go through, we're gonna give you microchip numbers. I did shoot photos. So when you see this on YouTube, you will also be seeing the photos because they're on the website. If you are new to our kennel and you have never subscribed to our channel, please do so. If you subscribe to our channel, um, it enables you to know exactly when I post a video because YouTube will email you and let you know that I've put a video up, which means it's on the website. I have to load up to YouTube first where you can always see them, but that's the only way I can get it over on the website is I use the link from YouTube and put it on the website. So, a um, couple things if you are new to us, I do videos every week and I do photos um, when they first are born and then I'll do photos again when their eyes open and probably only one more time after that, maybe about five weeks because we have several litters due there's no way I physically I'll be able to take photos of every puppy and get them updated every week. But we can do videos every week. Um, we can also possibly, if it gets crazy, we might be able to do two videos a week. But it, it will get to the point where I can't keep up with photos with the number of litters that we have coming. But you will always get videos. So, let's get started. Um, these guys are doing really really good uh she's nursing them great she's eating me out of house and home we're giving her raw liver every day she also gets raw hamburger that's 50 percent meat 50 percent fat and she's on cottage cheese as well as she's on puppy food uh so yeah she's like <laughs> these moms with these babies get treated like they're going to the buffet around here it keeps them nice and fat it makes babies fat keeps mom from getting skinny, and moms make uh, milk like a Holstein cow. Plus, mom's on a vitamin. She's on NuVet vitamins, um, as well as the calcium. So, um, without good moms, you don't have good puppies. So, we do feed our moms really, really well, and uh, the pups will get a lot of that, too, when they start eating about three weeks old. All right, so we're gonna start with the girls and there will become a point, they're big enough, I can put collars on them so you can tell what they, who, they're, who they are when they're up crawling around because unless you are really good, you're not gonna be able to tell exactly whose spots are whose and who, this is the only one I could probably, this one and this one from the markings are the only one I can go, oh, that's my puppy. The rest of them are too close in markings. All right, so I microchipped everybody yesterday when I shot their pictures. So this is a female. Microchip number 8211 is her chip number. And she's got really nice body weight so far. Her only distinguishing mark, which I can tell you with her, is she's got this huge black mark on the neck. She has black down her pants on this side. And this side, she's got black down this side. Oh my goodness. Tail and do claws are finished. Okay, okay, whoops. Lay down for just a second. Let me turn it on, I'm sorry. Don't crawl away from it. Got, I gotta keep track of you. All right, let's get a weight on her. Oh, it's cold, I know, 10.4. Okay, back down you go. Oh my goodness sake. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. She's, she says, I'm out of here. And I'm, I'm really not gonna try and keep them organized. I try when I start so they're all nice and pretty and organized. I'm done with that at this point. They're gonna crawl everywhere since we're waking them up. This one is another female, microchip number 8210. She's also got black down her legs up to her butt, black on this leg, and she's got a big dot over her tail. I think she was the only one that had just a, a dot right above her tail. So that's kind of another uh, distinguishing mark that she's got. All right, let me weigh you. Let me weigh you. We'll get you out of here. She has nine point. Oh, she's ten ounces on the button. I know that's cold. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know that's cold. 
And I, believe it or not, toenails are already gonna need cut. I don't know if Vanessa can zoom in on these toenails or if she'll hold still that long, but these toenails are huge. They're already sticking out like, okay, I know you're mad. That puppy has no nipples on its face. Turn around and go to sleep. 8212 is the microchip number. This one has uh, black from one leg, clear across nonstop down the other leg. Oh, I know you're so angry. I know you're so angry. But she's doing really good. Nice, nice body weight. Nice and fat. 10, 8. I know. You know what? This is like going to a gynecologist and they don't heat anything up. So this is like freezing cold when I lay them on it. We should we should put a heating pad on that before we do it. It is cold. So this is my marker. She is my black Merle. I love this color Merle. We don't get them very often. She is primarily black with some really cool Merle markings and she almost has a perfect yin yang face. She's got black down one side and light on the other. I know, I know, I know. 8213 is her microchip. I think she's the biggest female. She's 116, 11.8. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm putting you down. There you go. Oh no, there you go. Oh, we got five more to go. All right. So this is a male. This starts our group of boys. I'm just gonna hold him here really carefully while I get his microchip. They do get better as they get older. They don't get so squawky. 8209. But we ha we haven't, honestly haven't messed with him, so they're not used to it. He's the only one right now that still has a pink nose. That will change and that will turn black. But right now he's still pink. And let me lay him down and see what he weighs. He is 10.4. Okay, okay, okay. And this one has some really nice, distinguishing, really dark, big spots down the back. I think he is, I consider him the heaviest spotted male, meaning he's got the biggest spots. I think the male right here is also heavy spotted, but it's lots of little spots. Oh, I know, I know. And I think this one has the least amount of spots. These will all be blue merles. These are all gonna look, this one is the only one that has four white feet also. I'm not even going to roll him around much because he's not going to like it. 8208. If you go to the adult page and you look at Stryker, um, we no longer have Stryker, but Stryker was marked like this as a baby. So this dark gray, watch him turn his back. He's like, oh, it didn't do it that time. It curled its back. Um, this light, this steel gray will turn lighter blue. Okay, okay, let's weigh you, weigh you, weigh you. 9.6, so this right now is the smallest. But this one does not have a lot of marking. And this one has a tiny bit of pink left on one side of the nose, but this is the only puppy with four white feet. Are you crying? I know, turn around. There you go. Let me scoot you in. I know, if he gets here, scoot in, snuggle down. Let me hold him down here a second. If I just lay my hands on him, they'll quit. That one had a bad dream. All right, so this is the next one. Oh, you're gonna cry when I pick you up. I know you are. I'm trying to pick you up as gentle as I can. Can I keep you in the sleeping pose? No. All right, so this one has lots of dark gray, which means it's gonna be a really pretty blue with the black markings. It's got a really nice dark face, which should stay dark, because if you, it's hard to tell, but this is primarily all black on this side. And I know I didn't turn anybody over. We'll do it later, but most of them have a little bit of white on their belly. This one also has a round black dot on his belly. And then one of these boys has a huge black dot on his belly, but I don't remember which one. And I, 12, two. I did not, no, oh, he's the biggest I of the boys. I did not want to jostle them all around, but somebody in here has this huge dot on his belly. We'll do that next time when we do puppies. What's your belly look like? Oh, she says, I'm sleeping. Don't doubt it. Don't touch me. All right, two to go. This is another male. And while I've got him in this position, he's got a white divot on his chest. 8206 is microchip number. He's got lots of nice spots on there. There's really nothing significant setting him apart other than he's got white on this back toes. And that's it, nothing on the other feet. 
I know you're grumbly. You're all grumbly. Whoop. 10 2. It says, I, help me, I rolled over and I can't get up. Nope, just 10 ounces on the button. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> also, this one's asleep. If Vanessa can sneak over here and show you, these ears are sealed shut. And these do not open until their eyes open. So every puppy in here has their ears sealed shut. And that way the amniotic fluid when they're babies does not get in their ears. And it, they'll start peeling and getting little flakes of skin all over them here before too long when their ears start to open. All right, this is my last male. Oh, he's the big spot. See the big spot on the belly? A little bit of white. And that's actually how I have it written. Oh, you're going to lay still and go to sleep. That's how I have it written on their microchip, his big spot on the belly. He also has some cool markings on his back, and he has this flying V on top of his head in black. That won't show very long, um, because once he starts to get his longer hair, he's got big feet. But um, his will fill in. 82.14. All right, I'm coming. Let's see what you weigh. 12 on the button. So this is the second biggest. So that'll at least give you a sneak preview. Oh, you turned clear around on us, didn't you? Kind of flip you really quick and lay you down. Now go back to sleep. There you go. Um, next week when we do videos, they'll be a little bit more easily to handle. They'll be a little bit more comfortable. We don't mess with them at all when they're, when they're newborn like this. We leave them alone with mom. So these will go right back up and go to mom. And we probably won't touch them until next week. Sometimes we'll pick them up if we have to change your carpet and move them around for that. But we let mom be mom and uh, we don't really mess with them. So I hope you've enjoyed their first video. I will catch you up on video again next week. I will not do any photos until their eyes open. And because of the number of puppies we have expected by the end of May, I probably will not do a whole lot of photos. We will do more videos than we do photos for these litters. Uh, it's kind of scary knowing how many we have due by the end of May. And there's several that are due that aren't even on the internet. So it's going to get crazy and there's just not enough time in my day. But we will try and get you as much as we can on photo work. But videos are much easier. And we can get multiple videos done in a day where pictures, two or three letters wipes me out for the day by the time I get done with Photoshop. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you're on the waiting list, I will be calling you soon. I think there will be extra puppies in this litter, but I already have a waiting list for those extra puppies. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, please don't call me if, to see if anything's available uh, because I have a list of people to go down through. Also, uh, if you are new to us and you have not joined our YouTube channel, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, it will notify you every single time I post a video. That way, once I post to YouTube, it goes right over to the website. And uh, sometimes the YouTube's channel, I hear people like to do it on Friday night because there's, I think there's close to 400 videos on there of past puppies for the last few years. And people watch those like it's Friday night TV. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. It will notify you when I post a photo or post a video. And we do videos anytime between Monday and Friday. I never know what day we're going to get. If we're having a good Monday, they may all go on Monday. If it's a busy week, they may not go on until Friday. So please don't panic. They'll be on there sometime during that week. Have a good one, and I will uh, talk to you soon. I will also call you 14. in the order you're on the waiting list. So once I post them, the first person is going to get a phone call. So have a good day. Enjoy your uh, week. God bless, and we'll talk to you later.